Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WGL's second pay-per-view, or day-per-view, of the year. This will be broken up between each match, so you can go to whatever match you want at, at your leisure. But this is the all-ladder match, pay-per-view, day-per-view. And we start out with the semi-final ladder match to crown the unified universal title. There were six qualifiers. And we split the six winners up into two ladder matches. The winner of each triple threat ladder match will go on to the main event to compete for the unified universal Cesaro title of something. WGL. And we start with Cesaro, the first ever unified universal champion. He did that in November of 2018, 17, 18, I forget. Go check out. Introducing the challenger, representing the bar from Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds, Cesaro! You know, he had one of the all-time great rivalries with Sheamus, but Corey, it ended up working out in the favor for both men. Forming a tag team now known as the bar. Sheamus and Cesaro's bond was based on mutual respect for how tough, for how physical one another truly are, and the fact that they forced each other to raise their levels. To see how he became the first Universal Unified Champion, go find Survival Bowl on Back to Brag Sports. That would be this channel. Zara won a 10-man rumble to get here. this by winning what we call the who who was the man elimination match he originally wasn't even supposed to be in the match he was a surprise entrant you can see all these qualifying matches at the rebirth pay-per-view 2020 in the same night, defending the tag team titles on one night, and then later on that night, becoming the first ever North American champion in NXT. Jackson, I think you got the order wrong. And he has continued that path to greatness in NXT. Adam Cohn, the main event of Rebirth. Please, don't say Bebe. You haven't earned the right to say that. My last name's Cole. Yeah, not Bebe. Anyway, Adam Cole won the main event of Rebirth. A triple threat between all the WWE top champions. So, him, Braun Strowman, and Drew, Drew 
McIntyre, not Gulak. Michael Cole, Corey Graves, the Byron Tracks. the this table who's won championship gold in NXT. Let me stress how coveted the NXT title can be. International and independent stars alike dream of competing for it. Well said, Corey. Yeah, if they gave up championships for commentary, I'd probably win that too. No doubt. What about me? What about you? He's got that ladder right where he wants it. Now what? Float over. Oh. And it would, you never know. This could be it. Oh. Taking a bit of a chance here, Cole. Not a very well calculated one either. And here we go now. Elbow drop. Nice amateur takedown. Pressure on. He's in big trouble. For a much better spot than that. Uh oh. Oh, what an uppercut. Let's take a trip to the Swiss Alps, shall we? Rico! Up and away. He's got the gold in his hands. What are you doing? Pull it. Some are saying this is the night the title changes hands, though. I'm not so sure I'm ready to say that. Oh, and a rear super kick. From behind, nasty. The ascent begins. Oh, wow, what a sequence there from Adam Cole. So resourceful. Now that's showing the world that you're not afraid of anything. Well, the fights never end well. For one of them, at least. We might have a winner here. Success is within reach. Oh, this could be the big... What a title defense by Adam Cole. Let's get another look at what made that ladder match so exciting. Here is your winner, and still NXT Champion, Adam Cole! Hey, hey. This triple threat match. After witnessing what we just saw, I think we may be seeing one of the most dominant champions in a very long time. The action we see each and every that. year at Money in the Bank simply never ceases to amaze me. It was unbelievable. Adam Cole, strategic. Let Cesaro unlock all but one of the locks to get the case or the belt down. Knocked him off. 
Flair not strong enough to push the ladder over, and Adam Cole takes advantage. He is moving on to the finals, but who will he face? Check out match number two to find out.